Holy moly. Got me bandana on, got me bandana on. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video on getting to know me. Because, why not? Y'all don't know me like that. I have done this video before, a few years ago, but I've actually deleted them because I've changed a lot since then and I wanted to like start my channel fresh. Fresh and new, new me, new vibes. So on Instagram I got people to ask me questions and I've also looked up a few questions myself so I'm going to answer them so you can get to know me a little bit better. Right, so the first question is what is my age? I'm 23 years old. Turned 23 on March the 28th. What is your zodiac and what is your most favourite zodiac? My zodiac sign is an Aries. I would say, hmm, I don't know if I have a favourite zodiac sign, you know, because they're all individually, like, different. And we all have different zodiac signs in our chart anyway, so. But if I had to pick, I do like a fellow Aries, I like a Leo. Leos are up there with what I like, because we're quite similar. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. How tall am I? I am five foot six. Yeah, five foot six. What is my relationship status? I am single, yep, single Pringle. Where was I born? I was born in Devon, Torquay in particular. That's where I was born. I lived, the, I lived in Torquay for a couple of years, I believe, when I was a kid, but I have no memory of living there, really. So yeah, I moved to Exeter after that and grew up pretty much in Exeter. Do I drive? No, I don't drive. I need to learn to drive, I really do. I'm a bit behind, you know, I'm a bit behind in life. My journey's been quite slow with what I've wanted to do in life and having to get myself ready for things, but yeah. Driving, that's my next thing I need to do, drive. Yeah. Where do I see myself in five to ten years? Um, where do I see myself? I see myself being very successful with my own business and obviously I would like my YouTube channel and my social media channels to grow to an extent where people are listening to what I've got to say and do enjoy listening to what I've got to say because I feel like I am full of wisdom and yeah, my mind is like explosion and I love being creative and showing what I do on camera because I'm such a filming type of person. I love all that stuff. I love it. What do I look for in a partner? Hmm, what do I look for in a partner? I look for someone that is very good at communication, is affectionate. I like affection and I like someone to have a lot of passion for me I think. I like it to be quite a passionate connection. Um, I like someone that's authentic, um, is very open-minded. I need someone that kind of has the same sort of mind as me and does understand spirituality and is woke to the truth when it comes to conspiracy theories. Um, and just someone that's kind and just likes to do stuff and explore the world and just be fun. I like someone that's fun and cool. I like quirky. I very, I really like a quirky person. Someone that like walks down the street and you're like, who the hell is that? That's my tap. That's my tap. I don't know if he exists, but yeah. <laughs> what do I not look for in a partner? Hmm. I don't like someone that's closed-minded, obviously, that's like, no, you're talking shit, you're bullshitting, don't believe that, don't believe this, and just believes the whole, you die and you die and that's it. If I could live anywhere, where would it be? Hmm, where would I live? The thing is, I haven't actually been abroad, never been on a plane, nothing. It's like one of the most things I want to do in my life, but... Just haven't had the opportunity to go because of obviously other people's plans and my mum and family didn't get a passport until not that long ago but i've had a passport since i was about 18 so <sighs> but if i could live anywhere i don't know I, I just need to explore the world and see where i'm gonna land in 
I don't really care for England too much but where I live in Devon it's quite a peaceful place and I've learned to kind of love it at the moment because we're in a very safe place compared to most of the world like where I live is pretty chill pretty chill my favorite meal to cook hmm my favorite meal to cook I cook all the time I always cook all the time I've been cooking since I was about 14 years old and I cook family meals all the time but favorite hmm I don't say I enjoy cooking a roast, but it's my favourite meal to eat after I've cooked it. But other than that, like, the process of doing a roast is very hard work. Especially at Christmas, that is some stressful stuff. That's some stressful, a la stuff. If you could rule the world, what would you change? Wow. Uh, I would change probably near, near enough everything, because what's going on right now is messed up. Like, beyond. I would probably get rid of the news completely because we don't actually need to hear on the TV all the bad stuff that's constantly going on which is caused by the government itself. I would change how they teach children in school and the whole curriculum of what they teach them. I would want the true history to be taught and teach people on, teach children about life, how to live life once you're an adult. Um, about the human body is very important, health is very important because if you notice at school, when I went to school for the little short amount of time high school wise, the stuff they teach you is stuff that makes you feel like you're not good enough to even do it because me at school I felt confused probably majority of the time and having to do algebra and all that stuff we didn't need it so it's kind of feeding us all this information that is too much for our minds and then we get stressed out that we can't do it and we've got assignments and you've got your GCSEs all that and it's just a way to make kids feel very very stressed and not know what they want to do instead children should actually be encouraged to follow their passions as a child so they can explore more hobbies and what they want to do because in this day and age if you say oh I want to be a superstar I want to be an actress I want to fly a plane or something just a bit above the average normal people are always like hmm it's a bit far-fetched honey you might as well get a proper job because you're in dream world right now and i think what the hell why is that even why do people even say that you're doubting someone's dreams before they've even had a chance to do it and just because you can fucking live your dreams don't mean someone else can trust in that but yeah, there would be a lot of things changed. Money would be a big change as well. Like, people shouldn't be earning trillions of dollars and pounds. That's ridiculous when there's people that are starving in this world. Every single person would have a home, have food to eat, have and all the chemicals and the food. Oh my God, so much would change. They need to put me ruling the world, man. Life would be great. How old were you when you become spiritual? I was 15 years old. I think I'm going to do a spiritual awakening video. Um, a proper one. A bit more in depth and yeah. I'd like to do that. Because it's such a journey, a spiritual awakening. And having to go through the process and learning a lot about yourself and emotions. And you go through the dark night of the soul. Which is you feeling at your worst. Like mentally and physically. Like you are not okay. But... You have to go through the darkness to reach the light and it's a process and I'm still on it and I've probably got a lot more spiritual awakenings to go through because we don't just have one. How did I lose weight? I lost weight, I have actually got a video on this but it was from a year or two ago, I'm not sure. Maybe I need to make a new one. But I lost my weight from the beginning from when I was a bit bigger than what I am now. I became vegetarian, I'm incorporating vegan a lot more now, I do not drink milk because milk produces mucus in us and it's not a good way to get your calcium, no no no, I would not drink milk ever 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 again, I can't touch that stuff, hell no, when, once you know what milk actually does to your body you'll be like, what? but yeah I changed my diet up, I knew what I have to eat health wise and I have a lot of nutrition and once you know the basics about um, 
once you know the basics about nutrition and how, you do not need to do these diets that keep you in an unsatisfied way because you're starving hungry and then you lose this weight and then you put it back on because the diet isn't sustainable. You can't keep it up. You can't starve yourself forever, can you? But um, yeah, just knowing about health and fitness a lot better. What exercises do I do? Um, I mainly do Pilates and I like to incorporate yoga now. Um, weightlifting has always been a big thing of mine. I like weightlifting. Um, I used to lift a lot heavier than what I do now. But yeah, a lot of weightlifting, Pilates and yoga is what I do to lose weight and keep fit. If you could meet any celebrity, who would it be? To be honest, the only celebrity I'd like to meet because I'm a bit iffy about the celebrities these days, like the high up ones, they're a bit dodgy to me at the moment with the whole corruption going on. But I would like to meet Tupac if he was alive till this day. Yeah, Tupac is so wise and delicious. Love Tupac. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Looks and personality. Hmm. My favourite thing about myself personality wise is my passion for everything I do. I, I love my creative side. Um, I think my mind is really good. I've got a good mind. And I, I surprise people with my mind a lot. A lot of people think I'm just some dumb, tarty girl I guess. But I'm not. I'm full of wisdom and I'm full of knowledge and I'm full of good stuff. But I am very dopey. I'm very dopey and can be quite dipsy but I, I don't know I have like two sides to me one side is dip, dipsy and a bit dopey and very clumsy the other side is smart knows her stuff um, and has deep as good convos and looks wise I would say I like my eyes my eye colour I really like my eye colour and I like my body I do like my body I think that's about it, if I had to pick two. When did you start believing in conspiracies? Oh, I believed in it like for years and years and years. Like I never liked the royal family. I always had a problem with that, that we have a royal family. Um, and then the past couple of years, I've really done my research and dig deep into conspiracies, David Icke and all that, and then got really like woe by it. You go through the fucking rabbit hole, you do. And once you've seen all the evidence and you've seen it, you're just like, you can't look at life again. And it's one of those things, once you do go down the rabbit hole, life's not the same after that. It's not, you're just like, what is this? It's like we're in some sort of matrix game and we can't, the good has to win over the evil. That's kind of, kind of the way I see it. Like we are being powered over by a very evil, despicable people and it's like the good people have to awaken and change like the ending you know like win always no good always wins overall and that's kind of the scenario i feel like we're we're in do i have a big friendship group no i don't at all actually um i've had friends and best friends throughout my life but during the process of discovering what I want in my life and who I want in my life I've had to get rid of a lot of people and that did not serve me in a good way like it was very toxic friendships don't miss it don't want it back I don't approve of having anyone in that in my life like that ever again um, it's about having boundaries and I really feel like I didn't have boundaries for friends what is your favorite hobby Oh, I've got so many hobbies. I love painting, I love filming, I love photography, I love the beauty side of things, I love too much. I love everything. I love anything creative. And I really want to learn how to play the guitar. That's my next thing. I've always wanted to learn how to, to, how to play the guitar, so that is my next doing. But yeah, that is all the questions. Um, that's me. I hope you enjoyed that. It is nice kind of finding some stuff out about someone, isn't it? Like, cause I put all these videos out, you don't know me. And here's a few facts about me. I don't know why I always have to like, 
talk about the reason I've done the video. There's no reason that I'm doing the video, but yeah. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.